two. There we go. And welcome back to The Drive Home with Tanya Kenna and BD. All right. And we have a guest in the house, Candy from HSHS, St. Anthony's hey. Memorial Hospital. Welcome, uh, Candy. Hi, Candy. Thank you. And we are going to be talking about shoulder pain today. Mm, very common. Could be. I mean, I I could have shoulder pain after I bowl, you know. <laughs> that's true. We were talking bowling earlier. <laughs> okay. I don't know if you heard that or not, but uh, <laughs> that's what we were talking about. But why is it important to seek therapy for ongoing shoulder pain? Well, shoulder pain ranks second only to back and neck injuries as a cause of dysfunction in the working population. Um, the shoulder is a complex joint comprised of many muscles. Mm -hmm. And so um, as a result we can develop a lot of dysfunction. Um, a therapist will um, assess and evaluate the shoulder and the adjacent structures to determine the cause of pain, um, will help create a plan to appropriately treat the cause of the pain, and this will minimize any further loss of function to the shoulder and help manage pain so that you can get back to doing the things that you like to enjoy. Right. Well, now that, uh, you know, we've got nice weather and people mm -hmm. probably out doing activities. Activity. Overdoing it, probably. Well, yes. that's probably, you got that probably spot on. Yeah, and typically with the weather getting nicer, everybody's, again, you know, getting out in the yard, starting to be more active, and they end up putting a lot of strain on their shoulders because they're, you know, doing things that they haven't done for many months, and then they see that things need to get done, and mm -hmm. then as a result, start to develop some problems. Okay. Now, what are some of the, uh, I mean, common shoulder, you know, complaints and reasons why people are referred to to you to, to do therapy? Well, typically it's because they have ongoing pain for, mm -hmm. you know, weeks, sometimes months. Uh, some people don't like to go to the doctor, so they think <laughs> it's just going to resolve on their own. Yep. Um, as a result, they'll start to develop uh, a decrease in strength. Their motion will suffer, so they won't be able to, you know, raise the arm as high or, you know, as far behind their back. Mm -hmm. Um it starts to affect their day-to-day -day tasks, their work tasks. They start to notice things like, um, you know, they can't scratch their back, they can't wash their hair, they can't reach up in a cabinet, um, you know, putting on a seatbelt. Mm. And also, it can also start to disturb their sleep. Really? Ooh, yes. That's not good. Mm -mm. Yeah, that affects a lot of things then. Um, you know, then if someone says, okay, I, <laughs> I, need, to, I need to get some help on this and let's say their doctor refers them or whatever the way they end up with with you guys at HSHS uh, physical therapy department how do you help them I mean I have no idea if you just go through like stretching things or things to avoid what to do warm up how do they treat someone with the shoulder pain well you will come to uh, therapy a therapist mm -hmm. will do a very thorough evaluation of the shoulder mm -hmm. um, Based on the objective findings that we see during the evaluation, we will develop a specific program that includes stretches, uh, strengthening, different exercises. We also have other tools that we use that we call manual techniques that if there's some soft tissue involvement, um, that'll help us to restore the function in the shoulder. Um, as a result of that, then we give you a very specific home exercise program to perform in conjunction with the therapy things that we will do in your weekly sessions. Okay. Now, oh. when you say weekly sessions, how many times do they have to come see you each week? Is it Does it vary with the, um, I guess, the severity of the, the shoulder pain? Mm -hmm. Yes. So typically it's like two to three times a week, um, but in, you know, less acute, um, less severe instances, you know, we can tailor that to even, you know, weekly sessions. It mm -hmm. just really determ is determined on the evaluation that okay. we complete and then we also discuss the plan of care with the patient so that we come up with a you know a program that is um that we both agree on so okay. whether sure. that's one two three times a week you know based on whatever it is you're dealing with um how long i mean are these appointments like each day is it 30 minutes an hour a couple hours usually the eval is about an hour okay um, and then our follow-up sessions we like to plan for about 45 minutes Okay. All, All right. right. Sneak that in over lunch hour or something. Right. Yeah, possibly. Yeah. You, you know, you just mentioned it about shoulder pain, and we all tend to think, yeah, okay, you know, you've got a, a, a muscle or something right there that's causing that pain. But, I mean, I've heard 
a few people say this outside of here, and I think you can maybe expand on this. Is it also sometimes due from other areas actually outside of the direct shoulder area of pain? Yes. Um, the shoulder is a very complex uh, joint that um, has many muscle attachments from the neck and the mid back. Mm -hmm. So that's why it's important to really have a very thorough assessment done to determine is the pain coming from the shoulder? Is it related to something from the neck or other areas? Because um, there are over 20 muscles that help to move the shoulder. So mm -hmm. the most oh, common wow. are the rotator cuff muscles. Mm -hmm. oh, yeah. um, you know, they help to rotate the arm and keep the shoulder joint together. But there's additional muscles that attach to the shoulder blade and the neck. And they also help to move the shoulder and mm -hmm. help us to use our arm for various things. So um, with our assessment, we can kind of tease out where is it coming from or is it coming from multiple areas? And mm -hmm. so based on that findings, then that's where we develop a very specific tailored program to meet your needs. Now, what are what are the uh, demographics of people that you see come come through with the, the shoulder type therapy? I mean, I'm I could guess, you know, a lot of athletes, but not necessarily. Right. I mean, is there like a certain uh, age group that you see a lot of? It shoulder injuries kind of span the multiple age groups. Mm. We have some young kids, you know, sports related, mm -hmm. um, typically, but you know, you have your, you know, middle aged, older population, and they all kind of stem from different things. You know, some is overuse. You know, I went out in the yard and I, you know, tried to get my spring cleaning done, so to speak, my mowing, <laughs> my, yes. you know, all weed pulling. <laughs> yep. um, others, it's, you know, they moving, you know, boxes and mm -hmm. rearranging furniture and right. spring cleaning the house. So it can span, you know, all ages. So we see pretty much everyone. Okay. You, you need to just outline, you know, the course of treatment and what you guys can help people with this type of pain. But let's say someone does go through several weeks of this and you guys are able to completely help them out and the pain gets better what do you tell them on like your last session or whatever to say hey how here's how you can maybe help prevent this from reoccurring in the future is it like a you know just start your exercises uh, slowly and start up to it you know don't overdo it uh, stretch out first beforehand, use some kind of a brace or something? What what kind of things would you tell them to maybe help prevent that injury from reoccurring? Well, based on um, the therapy sessions that they go through, we, mm -hmm. we educate them, you know, ongoing education about what's going on with them. With the home exercise program, we start, you know, uh, fairly basic and then we progress and expand on that and within that we try to teach them ways that they can manage those symptoms so it might be you know continue with the exercises taper off but you know try to do something every day as far as like stretching okay um you know if you are going to be doing something you know like sports related stretch out warm up um cool down but you know obviously don't let the symptoms get out of hand like they did maybe initially that you can um, address it with some of the, the things that we've already taught you and um, keep everything under control from that perspective. Now, if they start, uh, I mean, do they need a doctor's order to go to come see you? Yes. So they would contact their physician. They mm -hmm. would get a referral for physical therapy, and then they would call our office and set up an initial evaluation or initial appointment for that um, to take place. Okay, and you're located at? The, the Workman Center. Okay, the sports complex? Yes. All right, and uh, your phone number? Area code 217-347-1243. Pretty easy. That sounds pretty good. You know, I know, like you mentioned when you started off uh, the interview, um, a lot of people kind of put it off and put it off yeah. because they don't want to go see the doctor. <laughs> Correct. <laughs> but uh, sometimes uh, you have to kind of... <laughs> Kind of look at the big picture of things yes. because the longer you do put it off, the more damage you could be doing to your shoulder. Absolutely. And, you know, and then the the more that that leads to loss of function, you mm -hmm. know, and the ability, the, the inability to do the things that you want to be able to do on a daily basis. Yeah. I fully agree with that. Oh, yeah. I Can't deny agree. it. Yes. <laughs> well, thank you so much, Candy, for coming in yeah, and uh, chatting with us about uh, shoulder uh, therapy. Um, I know some people that, that have uh, some shoulder issues, and hopefully they were listening. That's today, right. Very common. <laughs>
<laughs> but thank you for taking time out of your day to, to chat with us. Well, thank you very much for having me. All right. Thank you very much for